Hello, I'm the Frank Fryer and welcome to the Frank Fryer channel. Today, I wanna to talk about my ordination to the priesthood tomorrow. Enjoy. Well, as I said in my intro, I wanted to make this little video first as a thank you for all the people that have been sending me messages and comments saying that they're praying for me, um, they're offering up a mass for me, they're going to do a holy hour, all these things as I am ordained a priest tomorrow and I'm making this video on um, the 25th of August. So thank you all for praying for me. And I just wanted to make a little video to sort of share kind of what's going on with me. This is a big thing. A lot of people are very curious about what is it like to be ordained or in the process of, of that. And this has been eight year process. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not a short, short thing. You know, I think it might rival some people trying to be a doctor, although doctor of the soul, doctor of the body, these things are important. And I've been preparing my homily for this weekend, which is going to be my first mass, my first homily as a priest. And the gospel is from Matthew's gospel, chapter 16, verse 13 through 20, which is the keys are given to Peter. You know, in the Catholic church, we see this as the beginning of, of, the, of the church, you know, big capital C. And as I'm sitting with this passage over the last few days and working on my homily and just, you know, sort of as much as I chew on the gospel, letting the gospel sort of chew on me to, to gnaw away at me, to, to, you know, bite in me a little bit, make me uncomfortable, chisel away at me. So, the message that Jesus is trying to share can come forth through me. Um, I hope that isn't coming across as prideful. It's not, it's, you know, it's realizing that the spirit is at work and the spirit, you know, he's gentle or he's a burning fire. Both are applicable. And as I've been sitting with this gospel, uh, Matthew 16, you know, the word vulnerability has really been coming up to me. You know, I see Jesus as being vulnerable for the apostles, you know, he asked them, who do you say that I am? And leaving them the floor, allowing them to say what they need to say and their understanding about who he is. And then you get Peter. And Peter didn't necessarily knew he was going to give the right answer. He was speaking what's from his heart. Later on in the passage, you know, that truth given to Peter was, was from God. But he already sees Christ being vulnerable, so that allows Jesus to set the tone for the apostles, and particularly in Peter, who seeing Christ's vulnerability is able to be vulnerable himself and give his answer, even though he may not know if he's right. You know, I identify a lot with Peter because sometimes I can put my foot in my mouth as we see Peter regularly doing throughout the gospels. So you see this atmosphere of vulnerability and the authority and the responsibility. And, and I believe that those two things always go together. If you have authority, whether it's with your family or with your work or with whatever it may be, there's always a responsibility and responsibility has a certain level of authority and et cetera. And you're probably gonna get that plane going overhead, but it's New York, it's never gonna really be quiet. So you have this atmosphere of vulnerability and through that vulnerability, the keys are given to Peter, this responsibility and this authority that the church, the community of Christ is going to start from this. So from the very beginning, the foundation of the church in Jesus Christ, there was a notion of vulnerability, at least in my understanding and how I have been wrestling with this gospel in the breath and the light of the Holy Spirit. And I think that's something I maybe got to take into the ordination tomorrow, realizing that I'm not perfect. I'm not a saint. I am on hopefully the pathway. I desire sanctity. Teresa of Avila is a saint that inspires me. If she can be a saint and the personality that she has, it's, there's hope for me. And then dealing with a variety of different expectations from people, realizing all I can do is just be me, put myself out there before the people of God, trust in the Holy Spirit, and just in that space of vulnerability, let that community building 
in the spirit occur. And I think that's something I'm trying to do here on YouTube and my, my social media is to create this atmosphere where we can have these sort of talks and we can have these discussions. I don't really delete comments unless they're profane, vulgar language, sort of ad hominem attacks, racist attacks, etc. You know, there's no place for that. But if you say something and it just, and you disagree with me, I'm fine with that. My ego is not that sensitive. Many people have, uh, I don't want to put this. Many people have disagreed with me in the past. People are going to keep disagreeing with me in the future. And that's okay. And that's why I'm putting myself out here, for example, in this video today. Am I nervous about tomorrow? Oh, you betcha. Probably as any man or woman is before they're married. They get the butterflies in their belly. Maybe they don't sleep good. All these sort of things. But I realize that in these moments that I am not going alone. I'm traveling first with Jesus, who is my brother, who is my Lord, who has helped me to grow so much from the man I was before I came into the church to the man I am now. And then I've got a community of people out there that are praying for me, that are lifting me up, that, that are giving up their time, their talent, and their treasure to help me become a better man and helping me to say yes tomorrow before the Cardinal. So as this video keeps going, I don't want to ramble too much. I just want to say thank you. Please keep praying for me. If vulnerability is something that you all struggle with, I hope these videos help you in that way as I try to share myself and my adventures and my Carmelite spirituality, my Carmelite identity. And just know that I'm with you in prayer and I'm with you in spirit. You're not going alone in this world. We are a pilgrim people journeying together. We can never forget that. So thank you for dealing with me today and for being with me. And if you like what I'm trying to do here, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. It really helps me out. It helps others find me. And if you like more of my content, you can go to my website, thefrankfriar.com. And there you can find my blog. You can find my weekly homily in Spanish and English. You can find photos from my adventures like Peru there. And you can find a multitude of other links to my Facebook page and etc. I'm also a monthly columnist now on the Catholic Stand. Uh, the website is catholicstand.com. I'm going to do a monthly article there. The new one's up. And it's addressing the topic of who am I? I am a sinner. Sort of trying to live out that idea of vulnerability. So thank you again from the Frank Fryer. Know that I'm with you and I'm praying for you. God bless and have a good day.